Video producers of all types, whether making documentaries, films, YouTube videos or television programs, use two types of footage to create compelling video, A-roll and B-roll. The terms derive from the early days of Hollywood filmmaking, when producers used to literally shoot on rolls of film. A-roll relates to the main footage, the main shots you want to focus on, like an interview, conversation between two people or piece to camera. And the B-roll is secondary footage, the clips used for cutaway shots, establishing locations and creating smooth transitions from one scene to the next. Now, although we don't really use the term A-roll anymore, the term B-roll is still very much part of the video editor's vocabulary. A video without it can seem boring and you might find you lose your audience's attention fast. Take this scene for example. Here we have an interview with the DJ as our primary footage. He's entertaining, but this shot alone isn't enough to keep us hooked. We need some variety in there. Plus, in this scene, I'm looking to cover these messy jump cuts with additional material so my piece plays smoothly and transitions between one sentence to the next. This is where B-roll comes into play. You see, along with this interview clip, the A-roll, we also have a variety of shots of him at work which make up our B-roll, additional footage to help us tell his story and illustrate the points he's making on screen. Placing these B-roll videos on the layers above the main track in LumaFusion means we can hear our interviewee throughout the video but see the B-roll above. This keeps the audience's attention with the variety of exciting shots that relate to what he's talking about. Another example is here with this newsreader at the scene of a crime. We as the audience in this scenario want to hear her report on the story while seeing clips of the unfolding news taking place. So B-roll is added to the video to add context. We can also add B-roll to the main track. It doesn't have to be layered, but this is your choice when you're editing. Audio levels from B-roll can be altered individually in the audio editor, just like any other clip, or you can lower or raise the audio from an entire track here at once on the left-hand side of the timeline. So next time you're producing a video, how can you use B-roll of your own? Well, if you're involved in the shoot yourself, it's a good idea to plan the B-roll ahead of time that you're going to capture. So scout the locations you're going to be filming in and brainstorm the types of shots that will best set the scene and visually describe your main content, whether it's a scene between two actors in a film or an interview for the nightly news. It's a good idea to get a range of angles to keep it interesting, including wide, medium and close-up shots to mix and match. The B-roll is flexible. It can be directed by you or it can be simply shots you capture in the moment. If you're feeling extra creative and have a little more time, you could even create some exciting sequence shots to help you tell the story. But if you're not involved in the filming itself, you can still use B-roll in your edit. This can be in the form of, say, archival imagery or perhaps stock footage. There's loads of websites where you can find this or you can access royalty-free content from Storyblocks in the LumaFusion Media Library. So that's the use of B-roll in your editing. Once you get your head around it and start practicing, you'll be using B-roll every single time you make a video. If you have any questions at all, please ask away in the comments below, or you can join us at one of our live Zoom trainings from the LumaTouch Academy.